Hey Shubi Doodlers, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to draw a Tudor lady in a farthingale dress based on a picture of Catherine Parr that was once thought to be Lady Jane Grey. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. You will need a pen and a pencil and an eraser. I'm going to start in pencil by sketching out the head. It should be about up there. And then we'll need a neck and shoulders. And then we want a kind of a triangle coming down like that and then we want a triangle coming down like that. Now this is kind of the uh, the inner skirt of the farthingale and then come up a bit. So that's kind of the waistline, but this come up a little bit about there and then come out in this kind of a curve like that. And then we're going to want to have kind of the arms like that and the sleeves will be kind of coming around in a circle. Now draw this very, very gently. Don't press hard because we're going to erase these lines later and it's going to be really difficult uh, if you've done it too hard. So, so this will give you kind of a plan for how to draw the picture. If you find any of this confusing, don't forget you can always stop and start and replay as many times as you like. You're not going to break YouTube. So let's start by drawing a head like that. And I'm just going to put two dots in for the eyes and little curves for the eyebrows, a little for the nose and just a little smile. And then I'm going to get up and around like that and then up and around like that, leaving this little gap in the middle. And then I'm going to kind of do this for the hair. It's quite simple. And then in there as well like that. And then we're going to start working on this hat that she wears. So we need those kind of little wiggle wiggles, zigzaggy things with a dot in each kind of scallop like that. And then if we come out a little bit, we can go all the way around again and in. And we'll do another little scallop. This is kind of lace on the outside. So it's a scalloped edge and again, we go all the way around and put a dot in the middle of each one to give a kind of a lace effect. And then we can just go all the way in here and sort of fill up that space with texture. So that's just kind of lines going across and you can add some extra kind of dots in there just to kind of break it up and add texture to it. Now let's draw her neck coming down there. And she's going to want to have a little necklace with a medallion stuck on there as well. And actually now let's bring the shoulders down slightly because we don't all have such straight shoulders, do we really? And we'll come down here and then we want a little curve upwards. And we want sleeves, a little kind of, well, sort of tops of the sleeves there. And then we're going to bring the bodice down like that. If we draw another curve across there and we can draw some little lines across in there as well and she's going to have a kind of a necklace thing going on there like that as well. Now the easiest thing to do here is to draw her hands clasped together. So draw a little line like that and two things going up there. Those are her thumbs. Okay this is all a bit complicated. So from here we're going to go zig zag zig zag zig zag like that so those are going to be her hands clasped together like that in a, in a pose of humility and then these are her lacy cuffs so we can kind of put some little dots in there as well and then maybe some kind of pleats in there as well like that So we're going to want we're going to want a line coming from here up to there. But first of all, I'm going to draw these two little sort of square lines across, and you can draw her sleeves coming into those lines there. Now she has got fur, big fur sleeves. So we want this to have a slightly kind of furry lined to this 
and it's going to come all the way sweeping around down to about there all the way around sweeping down to about there and follow this line of the cuff as well and that will come down to there follow that around there like that <laughs> I didn't say this was terribly easy and we'll draw a curve up to there so these are the kind of inner sleeves and there's a kind of a a lacy bit hanging down below so we can put a couple of dots in each of those as well and then we can continue this furry thing so we'll bring that sort of down there and down to there as well and this is going to be ermine so we want to have those little ermine tail bits which get um, sort of stitched in there so that you know that she's royal because it's only kind of royalty that gets ermine I think isn't it or something like that and then let's draw her hips coming out from there and and bring the outer skirt all the way down like that and in and in and then we can bring that up and up like that and then the inner skirt wants to be it's it's inside so don't make it all one straight line across the bottom now let's get some pattern in here so we're going to have these sort of circles or ovals it depends how they kind of look really another one there and then these will be coming down there like that and then in each of these do these little sort of uh, it's kind of a, a circular cross isn't it so it's a long sausage sausage cross there we go sausage shape sausage shape and uh, now you obviously love drawing if you're still watching this far so why not click that subscribe button and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Render Drawing channel. Keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. And then here we want to do this kind of texture pattern. So you just kind of filling in these spaces with horizontal lines. So don't worry about it, you know, them being absolutely accurate all the way across because it's material. It's a cloth material, so it can have it, it has a kind of a a texture and movement to it so it doesn't matter that it's not exactly perfect it's not a sort of a solid sheet of anything so and then we do some more going downwards like that just kind of filling in these areas if you'd like to support this channel get finished images and other things as well come and join me on patreon that's patreon.com slash shoe now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines, especially if you didn't press too hard. <laughs> and then here we can do this kind of texture in on the sleeves, a similar kind of thing. Just doing nice cross hatch, a simple patterned cross hatch. And then on the sleeves and the body, so I'm gonna do this kind of wiggly, just sort of wiggling all over the place like this, just to give a kind of a sense of texture and all over the skirt as well. So it just breaks it up and makes it sort of look like some kind of pattern on the material. And then we are gonna get a bit of shadow in this area here. So I'm just going to flick these lines downwards in there underneath that bit of frilly laciness there. And then similar on here, like that. And then here, I'm just gonna add these extra little bits if you can get them in between that's even better just little flicks down which just sort of gives a bit of shadow like that and then we're going to want some shadow underneath here as well I think we're just trying to keep this nice and clean and simple just by doing these very simple downward strokes I'm not going to try and do any fancy cross hatching I don't think because you've already got that those wiggly lines that kind of breaks it up so you're not sort of really aware of the shadow in there and then I think we'll probably need a bit underneath her hands as well because they'll be creating a shadow too so then we can color her in 
with and then a nice dark red for the underskirt and the hat and a sage green kind of color for the dress and there you go how to draw Catherine Parr a Tudor lady who was once thought to be Lady Jane Grey thanks for watching and keep coming back to the She Rain and Drawing channel for lots more drawing videos every week and in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and I'll see you next time you take care now bye bye